Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Jimini. Sorry I'm not here this morning with you, but uh, I want to leave you with something to kind of help give you a little bit extra preparation for today's day two assessment. So, taking a look at this question, which we had on the pretest, very similar to this. I believe I've already had a video on the blog, but nothing uh, like having no one more quick refresher before the assessment. Um, one thing I'm seeing on the assessment that I graded yesterday is that not many people underlining, highlighting, circling keywords, numbers, etc. to help you with solving the problem. And that kind of dips some of our scores. Overall, I've been very pleased with the results so far, but we can always do a little bit better by implementing some other strategies and some strategies we've been talking about all year. So if I take a look at this problem, first thing I do is a little point and say, Noah has two rectangular gardens in his backyard. Both have an area of 56 square feet, but both have different perimeters. Show and explain which design will require less materials to construct. Okay, I'm going to go through here. He has two rectangular gardens, so I now have to make two drawings here. And they're both rectangles. Okay, Both have an area of 56 square feet, so the area is the same for both. Okay, But, key word here is being different perimeters. So we have same area but different perimeters. Show and explain. I must and means do both. Which design will require less materials to construct? Okay. So if they both have the same area, that's not going to help me with construction uh, constructing because he's going to put he's going to put something he's going to put material fencing around it. So that's going to be deal with perimeter. So first thing I know is I'm going to deal with my area. My area for both of these is equal to 56 square feet. So I'm going to begin to think, what are what are some factors of 56? What are some factors that multiply to get 56? Well, 56 I know is equal to 8 times 7 is 1. I know that also 56, what are our factors of 56? Uh, what is half 56? Isn't it 28? 28 times 2. Hmm. I think... 56 is also the same as 14 times 4. Let me double check that. 14 times 4, that is 16. Okay, good. So that's another one. So I know he uh, both have area 56 square feet, but have different perimeters. So I'm just going to use this one and this one. So I'm going to construct two rectangular gardens. There's one rectangular garden. Here's another. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to label one side, this side seven, this side eight. So we know the area is equal to 56 square feet because area is length times width on a rectangle. If I do the perimeter, perimeter equals, let's see here. I could just do 8 plus 7, which is 15, and times that by 2 because I have two sides combined that equal 15. So 8 plus 7 is 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 and 15 gives me 30. So the perimeter is 30 feet. Okay. Now I'll use my other dimensions, which was 4 feet and 14 feet. Now I know the area, again, was 56 square feet. And again, going back to the problem, both have an area of... So they both have the same area. So that works. That is that coincides with that stipulation. Now I go to the perimeter. Hmm. 4, 14. 4 plus 14 gives me 18. So if those two sides are 18 together, that means those two sides are 18. So I just go 18 times 2. That's going to give me 16. That gives me the perimeter here equals 36 feet. Okay. I wanted to find which does not require less material. 30 is less than 36. So I've shown my work. That's a check. Now I need to explain it. I'm going to go and type it because I tend to type a little bit neater on this than I write. So again, I need to think about what the question is asking. Noah has two rectangular gardens in his backyard. Both have an area of 56 square feet, but both have different perimeters. Show and explain which design require less material. So first thing I did the first thing I did, oops, sorry, was list some factors for 
56. I came up with two gardens who both had an area of 56 square feet but with different perimeters. One garden was 7 feet by 8 feet while the other garden was 4 feet by 14 feet. The perimeter for the 7 by 8 was 30 feet. That's linear feet because we're going around. Squares were kind of taking a one foot square and figuring out how many fit inside. So that lift, it's linear, not square for perimeter. The perimeter for the 7 by 8 was 30 feet and the perimeter for the 4 by 14 was let me get this out of the way real quick was 30 36 feet this calculation showed me that the 7 foot by 8 foot garden requires less material to build period okay let me double check here my work make sure I have everything answered something we need to start getting in the habit of Noah has two rectangular gardens in his backyard. Both have an area of 56 square feet, but both have different perimeters. Show and explain which design required less materials to construct. Okay, let's go take a look. I listed some factors of 80, 56. 56 is equal to 8 times 7. 56 is equal to 28 times 2. 56 is equal to 14 times 4. I chose 8 times 7 and 14 times 4. Both give me an area of 56, which is what's required in the problem. And then we just have to figure out they give me different perimeters. I go 7 and 8. Okay, so I, if, if this two sides are 7 and 8, the corresponding sides are also congruent. So I know that if the top's 8, the bottom's 8 because it's a rectangular. The left 7, the right 7. I know 8 plus 7 is 15. I doubled that because this side is also 8 and 7. That gives me 30 feet. It gives me an area of 56 square feet, which is required, and it gives me a perimeter of 30 feet. I go and take a look at my second two factors of 56, which are 14 and 4 that I chose. I said the area is still equal to 56 square feet, which fits this stipulation. I then say, okay, if this side's 14, the opposite side's 14. If this side's 4, the opposite side's 4. Four plus, 14 plus 4 is 18. I know that these two sides also then equal 18. I just said 18 times 2, which gives me 36 feet. Okay, this automatically, I could tell that this requires less material. So I'm going to read back to my read back my explanation to make sure it makes sense. The first thing I did was list some factors for 56. I came up with two gardens who both had an area of 56 square feet, but with different perimeters. One garden was seven feet by eight feet, while the other garden was 14 feet by or four feet by 14 feet. The perimeter for the seven by eight was 30 feet, and the perimeter for the four by 14 was 36 feet. This calculation showed me that the seven foot by eight foot garden requires less material to build. I think I have it all covered. Hope this helps you. Enjoy today. Bye.